The other big focus, well, are American defense manufacturers losing out to Chinese companies? I want to point your attention to a report by CIPRI or the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. It shows that China's top defense contractors have recorded a growth in revenue for the fourth straight year in 2022. The revenue of America's top defense companies, in contrast, has fallen. What explains this? Well, America, remember, is the world's biggest defense exporter for years now. America has used defense diplomacy as a, well, a tool of statecraft. Is China coming in the way now? Is it becoming a threat to American business and influence? Let's take a look at what's happening. Well, uh, the CIPRI report draws up a list of the world's top defense companies in terms of revenue. On top, you have America's Lockheed Martin Corporation with arms revenue of $59 billion. It is followed by four more American companies, Raytheon Technologies, Northrop uh, Grunman, Boeing and General Dynamics. Sure, U.S. defense manufacturers remain on top of this chart, but of the five companies, four saw their fall in 2022. Northrop is an exception, but its revenue remains stagnant. Chinese companies, on the other hand, have had a great year in 2022. While they feature low in the ranking compared to the U.S. counterparts, their revenue increase makes uh, these companies stand out. Something that's interesting to note is that the Chinese companies entered the CIPRI rankings only in 2015. And in just a few years, eight Chinese defense manufacturers have made it to the list. Of them, six companies have seen an increase in revenue. China's Norinco has ranked seven in the list of 100. Now, Norinco produces land systems. Its arms revenue rose by 4.4% in 2022. Which countries is Norinco exporting to? Well, Pakistan, Zimbabwe, Democratic Republic of Congo, Canada, among others. Also on the CIPRI chart is the Chinese defense manufacturer called AVIC, or the state-owned Aviation Industry Corporation of China. It is China's main military aircraft manufacturer. AVIC is eight on the list. Its revenue rose by 4.7% to $20.6 billion in 2022. The CIPRI report claims AVIC's numbers reflect the quote-unquote increased production of its fourth-generation combat aircraft and fielding of fifth-generation combat aircrafts into the Chinese armed forces. Now, this is the Chinese company boasting of the largest gain in revenue, CSGC, or China South Industries Group. Its revenue went up 12% uh, to $6.5 billion. So what explains the boom in China's defense sector? For the longest time, China's defense companies have relied most of their domestic sales. Uh, but over the years, there has been a steady rise in China's security exports. According to uh, the RAND Corporation, between 2018 and 2021, China has exported weapons to 38 countries. Today, China is the fourth largest arms exporter behind United States, Russia and France. In Asia, China has, uh, is selling weapons to Myanmar, Bangladesh, Nepal. It also exports arms to West Asian countries like Saudi Arabia. In Africa, to Niger, Algeria, Morocco, among others. Now, going forward, there is also a sense that China's defense companies could benefit from the war in Ukraine. Experts point out that while Russia has significantly increased weapons production, the chances are the most of these weapons will not make it to the international market. There are sanctions to deal with, attrition on the battlefield as well. So let's talk about the United States. What explains the decline in revenue of its defense companies? Supply chain problems are, the, are one of the big factors. U.S. companies are still struggling to cope with the Wuhan virus pandemic-related supply chain problems. A total of 42 American defense companies made it to the CIPRI chart. 32 reported a drop in revenue. In 2022, the combined arms revenue of the world's largest or the world's top 100 arms producing companies was $597 billion. The number fell 3.5% compared to 2021. Don't mistake it for a fall in demand for weapons though.
And well, ever since the war in Ukraine broke out, countries have been racing to weaponize and modernize their military. From Japan to Germany, policies have been changed to accommodate the geopolitical changes. In the West, the United States and Europe placed large orders for weapons, specific weapons, unmanned aerial vehicles, air defense systems, artillery systems, missiles, and armored vehicles. Who won? Companies that could supply these weapons and supply them fast. Since delivering weapons and tanks takes more time, normally years, a lot of the revenue from the war-driven purchases will reflect in the next years to come. Some companies are already reaping that benefit.